in decimals in language in context one, we've seen how to compare between two things. Now, when we compare between two things, we say we are comparing. Now, it's the comparative form. Now, when you compare between one and many things, other things, for example, we compare Earth to Venus and Mars and Jupiter, we call this superlative. Now, we have seen the rules of using this. Now, let's now see better than this is how to employ this knowledge into expressing similarities and differences. Now, when you compare many of the texts, there are the topics that are given to you in uh, whether it's in philosophy or in Arabic or in English or in French, they, for example, propose you a topic and they ask you to express, for example, let's say in education, for example, the educational system in USA and the educational system in France. So they ask you to express the similarities and the differences between the educational system in France and the educational system in uh, Britain or in USA or in Algeria. So this is the way the language you are going to use to express the similarities and the differences in, in the English language. Now, first off, through example, through concrete example. Now, let's, for example, because we are in astronomy and the solar system, I'm giving you uh, examples from the unit. Now, but you can change these, the, the root is the same. It depends on the ideas you are using, but the root is the same. Meaning, here I'm using examples from the uh, uh, the uh, astronomy and solar system, and you can use, for example, example from education, from ethics. For example, let's say, after I'll give you just uh, other examples to show you the difference uh, of using these examples. Now, look, the sun is a star. You've seen this today that the sun is a star, and Earth is a planet. Now, the sun is a star, and Earth is a planet, there are differences between the two sentences. Why? Because here we're talking about a star, and here we're talking about a planet. Now, this is a good sentence. There are two simple sentences. The sun is a star, full stop. Capital letter F is a planet, full stop. This is a very good way. Now, a more sophisticated way to say this sentence in English is joining the two sentences into one sentence. One, making these two clauses into one sentence. So, for example, let's say, now the sun is a star and earth is a planet. It's a good, correct English. But better than this, we can say, no problem, the sun is a star that earth is a planet. This way is more elaborated, it's better in the paragraph than this one. Now these are two simple sentences, but this is one compound sentence using two clauses. Here, but here expressing the differences, not the similarities. Because you said here are a planet and here are a star. So you can see the sun is a star, but earth is a planet. Now we can take Pal and say, for example, the sun is a star, but the sun is a star, however, Earth is a planet. The sun is a star, whereas Earth is a planet. The sun is a star, why Earth is a planet. Now, the sun is a star, on the other hand, Earth is a planet. So this is, the, the more you are using this, the more is elaborated the sentence. It means the person is going to correct your paragraph when he reads this kind of sentences, he would, and he would understand that we have a, a very good uh, uh, level in writing. Now, we can use this in another idea. Look, and like, and like, and like, and like. Here you are expressing right from the beginning the uh, the difference. No, and like. Now, and like the sun. Look, and like the sun. Look, and like the sun. Come on. I didn't say a star. And like the sun, come on. I didn't use the verb and the complement. I just used the subject. And like the sun, come on. Earth is a planet. It means you are saying that it is not like the sun. 
earth is a planet. And like with on the contrast, on the other hand, on uh, the, the contrary, on the opposite side, and like the sun, come up, come up, earth is a planet. Now this kind of set is given to you in the back of some R's, rewrite sentence B to be the same as A. And they give you example, oh, the sun is a planet star, and earth is a planet, and they propose you to write with L like. So with L like, you are using this form. So, when you write L like, you write just the subject. Then a comma, then you write the second sentence. For example, I'll give you another example. For example, Ali is tall. Muhammad is small. Now, we say and like Muhammad, comma, and he is small because Muhammad is tall, or vice versa. So, we don't say and like Muhammad is tall, comma, and he is small. No, and like Muhammad, comma, and he is small. And like is on the opposite of. So, this is the way we use and like. And like, and like, uh, and like here, let's, let's put it on the side that and like has got the meaning of ah. this is uh, the, 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 the meaning of unlike in Arabic you can write it in Arabic so it is this 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 meaning in Arabic now this one like is the opposite of unlike now like like for example Something like this. It means like it means on the, the same as or similarly as, but this one is the opposite. No, here the the, the, the the meaning it can be this one or just another meaning. For example, like okay, but this meaning of this it means on the opposite side of the person, the other thing is happening. Now, this is expressing. What? Differences. Now let's see how we express similarities. Now look, Earth is a planet. Venus is a planet. For example, uh, uh, Algeria is a country and Tunisia is a country. Or for example, America is a, is a continent and Asia is a continent, for example. You can, you can make any other example. It is, it's not just for the, uh, the astronomy that you can you can use this for other themes. You can use this for ethics, for uh, education, for civilization. So, for example, uh, the Sumerians is a civilization, and uh, for example, the Egyptian civilizations the Egyptians have a civilization. So it's the same. Now, I'm, now I'm just telling you how to express the contrast or the Similarity is the difference or the same thing between two things. Now here we are comparing. Now, Earth is a planet, Venus is a planet. Now, Earth is a planet and Venus is a planet is a kind of repetition. It's a good sentence, yes, but it is a kind of repetition. So to avoid this repetition, we say, look, we shall say, both, both, Earth, now I'm writing Earth capital E because it's a it's a proper noun. Earth, what? And Venus. Look, both I am using the subject of the two sentences. Earth and Venus. Venus. Now, Earth and Venus is not is. Earth and Venus are two. So, are are what? Pla pla nets. Because what two? Earth and Venus. So we say in English, better to say that Earth is a planet, come from stop, Venus is a planet, a kind of redundancy, it's using the same words. Now we say both Earth and Venus are planets. For example, uh, uh, for example, I am intelligent, my friend is intelligent, both I and my friend are intelligent. Tunisia is a country. Morocco is a country, both Tunisia and Morocco are countries. I'm a teacher, he's a teacher, both I and him, uh, not I and he, I and he, or both me and him, are teachers. Because you are using the plural form. Now, this is a uh, way, there's another way to express the sentence, using for example here, and likeness here, because similarity is like, like. Now, the same way. Now, like Earth. Look, like Earth. I don't use this. 
like earth. Come on. I'm, I'm, I'm stressing the use of punctuation. It's very important because you are writing. So like earth, come on. What? Venus is a planet. Like, like, not the same. Now, let's see other examples of this sentence. Look here. We have seen both. We have seen like, both, and like. Now, let's see other ones. Look. In the expression of similarity. So, like Earth, comma, Venus is a uh, planet. Now, both Venus and Earth are, remember, we are using plural, are planets. Now, Venus and Earth are planets. Instead of repeating the same uh, complement, so you take Earth and Venus are planets. Algeria and Morocco are countries. Uh, Asia and uh, Australia are continents. Or you can say, no, Earth is a planet, similarly, Earth is a planet, similarly, Venus is a planet. Algeria is a country, similarly, Morocco is a country. Uh, I am tall, similarly, my friend is tall. So here you are expressing the, the similarity. So I'm giving you ways to say the same sentence, but in different other ways. Now let's see another example. Now here I have changed a little bit the, the, the structure of the sentence. I love reading and I love writing. I love reading. Full stop, I love writing. Now here, I'm using the repetition of I love in both sentences. And here is the fix. So, when I want to express love, a sentence in which I am expressing similarity, because I love and I love. Here, I love and here, I love. So, I love, look, I love, I love, for example, look, reading. And writing. Footsteps. Have you seen? I love reading and writing. Or I love I love both reading and writing. You are giving a very good style, a style of a person who knows very well the use of English. So when you say, I love both reading and writing, it's better than to say, I love reading, full stop, I love writing, or I love reading and I love writing. Now let's take now another example. Look, I love reading, I hate writing. I love reading, I hate writing. It's a very good way to say this, but now let's say them in a very better way, in another way in which we are using one sense. Look, I love reading, look, I love reading, but, but I hate writing. Or, I love reading, whereas, or however, I, ha I hate writing. Or, I love reading while I hate Writing. Here we are taking avoiding repetition and giving a very good sense of linking the two sentences. So this is how we express similarity and difference. Now the best way to, to understand this is just to practice and practice and practice. I've given you some examples and you can change these examples into whatever you like. Okay? Thank you very much.